Netflix, Morris Cons, the Necronomicon, the Book of the Dead. Yeah, well, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review the Evil Dead movies. Okay. Let me start off with Evil Dead, the Ultimate Edition. Okay, this is the special edition DVD that comes with, I think, uh, three discs. Okay, but let me review the movies first before I dive into this. Okay, uh, the movie, I mean. Um, mainly what the movie is about is basically these bunch of teenagers going to this cabin. And, you know, you have Bruce Campbell in here. I think this was his first um, movie that he was ever in. And mainly we think it's going to, uh, you know, be about these girls or whatever s surviving in the, the ca cabin. But no, it takes a twist. You know, mainly they all got to try to survive in the cabin and they die one by one. And mainly this is a spoiler. You know, it's only down to Ash, Bruce Campbell's character. So, yeah, um, pretty much the fucking idiot decided, hey, let me... um. Get this Book of the Dead, Economicon, and of course, uh, let me play the audio tape, and of course, uh, let me hear it, so then what happens is, um, you know, the Deadites come back to life, and mainly, they, they want to take bodies, okay, they want to take bodies, and of course, you have the infamous scene, the rape scene in the w woods, which I fucking hate, and... You know, it, it, it was disturbing to watch. I'm not going to even lie. It was fucking disturbing to watch. You know, um, of course that, you know, trees are evil in movies. You know, The Wizard of Oz, this movie, that movie. You know, so it was kind of creepy to see Evil Tree actually try to, uh, you know, rape a woman. Of course, with its branches trying to be like the the dick penetrating her putain. Okay, seriously. But yeah, um, pretty much that scene is disturbing for me. But, you know, um, I do not want to spoil the whole movie, you know. I know I spoiled it a little bit. But anyways, the movie gets 5 out of 5. And, you know, the music. There was only a little bit of music in here. But it was like, like, uh, like chilling music. Um, you know, mainly the cinematography. This was, of course, uh... 1970 something but they released it in 1981 or 2 I believe yeah because they talk about that in the documentary originally this movie was supposed to be NC-17 you know but as I was saying you know everything gets 5 out of 5 and I'll you know show you what's inside okay we have you know the the, the scenes you know and, of course, we have a poster, which you could go to Xanar Xanarak's video, type in Xanar Xanarak Evil Dead Ultimate Edition, and it will show you everything in here. I'm just going to show you a little bit, you know. Um, mainly this chick right here. She kind of looks like, you know, a Japanese chick to me, kind of, and she's pretty hot. And, you know, I like the way that that's drawn, you know, but still, she's pretty hot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind them going with that and of course you get the two other discs as well you know i know there's a post posters behind them but yeah you're gonna have to see that in xanar xanarax video but you know very beautiful set i love it you know it's just a badass you know um try to find this at your local fye or your movie stop if you don't have this edition Okay, um, I'm really disappointed in this, because this is not, um, a special edition, it's only a special edition for features, I think, and it's Evil Dead 2. Now, overall, this is better than the first one, you know, it's bigger and better, but except that, you know, it's a remake of the first, basically. But, um, mainly it's just about the same thing, but except that, you know, this time, you know, you got Ash going back. What I think his new girlfriend or something like that. I can't exactly remember. And of course these these uh, people come to the cabin. And of course that. You know they, 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 they want something or something like that. But yeah. You know. Um, 
I guess my favorite scene out of the whole movie is, of course, where everything comes to life and it's laughing at Ash. You know, mainly the, the deer head and the lamp and, you know, this and that. You know, it kind of felt like a Tim Burton kind of deal, you know, when the stuff was coming to life and was laughing at him. It felt like, like something out of a Tim Burton movie, you know, but still, uh, you know, overall, uh, I guess this has to be uh, my favorite Evil Dead movie just because of those scenes, those iconic scenes like that, you know, mainly funny shit, okay, but if you've never seen Evil Dead 2 before, check it the fuck out, all right, classic, classic, okay, yes, I know you're gonna say, why didn't you get the, the Boomstick Edition, because they didn't have the Boomstick Edition, I tried to find it everywhere, so, you know, mainly, I just have to deal with this, you know, Army of Darkness, just the, you know, bare bones DVD, you know. Um, mainly for me, um, this is a very good film. And, you know, this was Sam Raimi's last good film. Because other than that, well, what did he come out with? Spider-Man, and this and that, and this and that, and this and that. Yeah, so pretty much what um this movie is about it is it takes events from after the, this, from after Evil Dead 2, mainly because of the ending, but I don't want to spoil the ending uh, for you, but, you know, mainly this movie starts off from where this movie ended, you know, but I thought it was cool that how they kind of did that, you know. Um, mainly, um, Ash is stuck in the 1400s, and, of course, he's, you know, trying to get back to, you know, the, to, um, the present day, you know, and mainly he, he's, he's gotta try to find the Book of the Dead, and, of course, try to get back when he fucks up everything, so, yeah, I'm just gonna leave you off with that, okay, seriously, um, also that, you know, this movie has the poster, this is, like, supposed to be a parody of, uh, you know, uh, family, no, not family, I mean, uh, vacation, National Lampoon's vacation, because if you pay very closely attention to the cover, you know, Ash is, like, a, a like, a pose, like, a Chevy Chase, and then, you know, I think there was supposed to be kids on the side of him or something, and then, you know, his woman down holding his leg, you know, I know there was plenty of movies where, you know, movie posters where they they would rip off uh, Vacation, you know, because that was, uh, you know, cult classic and iconic movie, you know, very good, you know, this is very good, you know, the Evil Dead trilogy, you know, what could I say for the Evil Dead trilogy, you know, this has, this has to be one of my favorite trilogies of all time. You know, I think this is like sort of like, you know, in the category as, you know, the Matrix and stuff like that, you know, but um, mainly let me go back to this, the Ultimate Edition. Okay, so, you know, mainly you get a lot of features, you get, um, you know, mainly uh, two um, two features on disc one, you get two features on disc two, and on disc three, you get, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, in addition, that's probably like 14 features or something like that, you know. But yeah, this is pretty much boss. This is badass. You know, if you don't have it, get it. Please do. Yeah, this may be out of print. This might be out of print. So don't be surprised. And, you know, later I would do a rant on the remake. Or let me just make a quick rant for now. You know, why make a fucking remake to, you know, Evil Dead? You know, seriously, did it need a remake in the first place? No, you could have made Evil Dead 4, okay? Now, yes, I know Bruce Campbell is too old to do it. Well, um, you know, you could have had, um, you know, maybe somebody else do it, try to find somebody that looks like Bruce Campbell, you know? Um, you know, mainly if, you know, you, you was going to do, 
Evil Dead 4, you should have, you know, did it the right way. You know, but no, you have to make a fucking remake. Sorry about that. You have to make, you have to make a fucking remake. You know, so yeah, pretty much I'm done. Peace.